Isaiah chapter 43, the Gospel of John being the 43rd book in the Bible. Now, John is a Gospel of Jesus being God and God being Jesus. And we will see that here in this chapter. But now, thus saith the Lord, that created thee, O Jacob. So God's the creator. God has made the one of the nation of the Jews, calling Abraham out. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And he that formed the old Israel, God set them up as a nation from the book of Exodus. Chosen them. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee, bought thee back. Paid a price for them. I have called thee by thy name. John chapter 10 verse 30 says, I know my sheep, and I know them by name. Thou art mine. So how can you say God's all done with Israel? We haven't even finished this chapter. We've just done one verse. If God is all done with Israel, then Isaiah 43, verse 1, and other chapters in the Bible are incomplete. They're void, and the word of God doesn't mean nothing, and God's a liar. And the Bible says God is not a liar. God is incapable of lying, and God will never lie. So I guess man has lied. Religion has lied. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, there shall not overflow thee. Waters, just plain old waters. Rivers, you know, there's a current. You can be caught in them. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. Shall I do it again? Shall I pick on the Jehovah Witnesses? I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. What does Jesus mean? Jehovah saves. There he is. There's Jesus Christ and there is Lord Jehovah. One, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. You can go back and check the histories on Egypt. We all the book of Exodus. Since thou was precious in my sight, he Abraham is called the friend of God. Jacob one night camps out in the middle of, of, of a place and has a rock has, for his pillow and God reaches down and speaks to him. Thou hast been honorable and I have loved thee. I have. Does that say past tense or is that I have loved thee? Therefore will I give men for thee, population, men, robes. And people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from e from the east and gather thee from the west. He's going to get them back. He's going to bring them where they're supposed to be. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. So, every direction of the compass, God will bring them back. Bring my sons from far my daughters from the ends of the earth look at God God the Father is saying to the nation of Israel you're my son you're my daughter a fatherly relationship to this nation above all other nations have this none you know as far as the church there's only one place mentioned of daughter usually it's called sons of God even everyone that is called by my name. So the 144,000 you read about, they have the name of the Father in their foreheads. The Jews have a name. And it said, I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. That's the name of the Jews. The Holy One of Israel, God. For I have created him for my glory. Well, they're not doing God's glory today. 
I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Revelation 4, the last last verse in that chapter says, for, for we were created to glorify God and give him praise and honor. The last verse in uh, Psalms, Psalms 150 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. That's why God sent out Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 tribes, to praise God. That's why God said to Solomon, build this temple, to praise God, not the false gods. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. And that's exactly what they did in Jesus' time. Let all the nations be gathered together, United Nations. Let the people be assembled, United Nations Assembly. You can't escape the Bible. Who are among them can declare this and show us former things. Let them bring forth their witnesses, that's interesting, that they may be justified and let them hear and say, it is true. What did Pilate say? What is true? He didn't say it is true. He said, what is true? Ye are my witnesses. So what do you think the Jehovah Witnesses steal their name? You want to run back to chapter 3? I am, I mean, verse 3. I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. Ye are my witnesses. Jehovah Witnesses are Jews. They say they're the 144,000. Have you checked the 144,000? They are the two, 12 tribes of Israel minus two tribes, Dan and Ephraim. And yet the morons in Salt Lake City say they're of Ephraim. Liars. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me. They don't believe him. They don't know him. Israel does not today. They will. And understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed. Neither shall there be after me. Realize there is no beginning of God and there's no end of God. And there's never been a God. Before me. You can't say that. God's eternal. There was nothing ever before God. And there's nothing ever after God. Try to explain that one. I, even I, am the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. And besides me, there is no Savior. Acts 20:28, 20, John 5:20, Isaiah 9:6 is the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye bye, Jehovah Witnesses. You're liars. You're false prophets. I have declared and have saved. God speaking. The Old Testament God, the Old Testament Lord Jehovah, and, and Isaiah, Old Testament book 43, says, I have saved. Did you read what Gabriel told Mary? He shall save his people. Look at that. I have declared. I have saved. I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, I am God. They got all kinds of strange gods. Open up a Jewish Jewish man's wallet and you'll find all kinds of strange gods. Franklin's, Roosevelt's, Washington, Jefferson, pictures of dead men. And they are worshipped. It says in God ye trust. I'm on it. It also has the, the, the all-seeing foreign uh, false god eye with the pyramid of Egypt. Imagine a Jewish man taking American money that has an Egyptian pyramid that's not finished. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some people believe that the Jews were the ones who were building the pyramids. I don't know that for a fact, but that's what some people say. Yea, before the day was, before the day was, I am He. Before the day, 
Yea, before the day was I am he. Okay. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. So if you think your mom can save you, if you think your preacher can save you, if you think your your parents can save you, grandma, the Bible says there is none that can deliver out of my hand. It is, salvation is you and God alone and no one else. I will work and who shall let it? There are things that God does is, you know, what do people got to say about it? God's going to do what he's going to do and you can't say nothing. You, God's not going to come down and get your permission. There are people who, you know, you tell if a vile, wicked man that's in prison for corrupt crimes, if that last minute before they pull the switch in the electric chair, if he calls upon Jesus Christ as his Savior and be saved, I'll never believe in a God like that. Well, who are you to think, you know, what's your opinion about it? It's what the Bible says. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I don't care who you are. Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. For your sake I have sent to Babylon, and have brought down all the nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. Revelation 17, 18. Revelation 17, 18. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Now, anybody care to tell me what is on the vest of the Lord Jesus Christ when he comes back? King of kings? Like Martin Luther nailed his theses to the Roman Catholic door. You want to nail something to the Jehovah Witness door, Isaiah 43. But they don't care. They won't read it. They, they probably got an excuse in one of their classes they teach. If a Baptist comes up with Isaiah 43... That idiot that's on YouTube pre preaches against us. We've got to sit down and figure out how to answer that idiot who, who, who goes against us and holds signs as we try to get out of our place. Because one of the tags I'll probably put will be Jehovah Witnesses. And it'll come up and somebody will try to study to downrate what I say. Because I'm always in a battle and Satan is always ready to fight against the truth. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. You know what, God, you got to have to save you today? The Holy One of Israel. you got to have a Jew. Listen, if your Jesus Christ is not Jewish, he's not going to save you. He can't be American Jesus, and he can't be a black Jesus. He's got to be a Jewish Jesus. You know? Mary came from Nazareth. Joseph went to Bethlehem. There's nothing in there about Africa. And there's nothing in there about America. They were Jews. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea. What was that? That's the Red Sea. The Jordan River. And a path in the mighty waters. Well, the mighty waters would probably be the Jordan River, and the sea would be the Red. That's history. That is what God has done to the Jews, and the Jews say, hey, that's coming out of Egypt, and that's coming into the promised land. That is death to the Egyptians, and then death to Moses. Which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as toad. And there are people who have gone down the Red Sea and they found the remnants of those chariots. The wheels and all that. They're gone. They're dead. If there's any fish in that Red Sea, they, they, you know, they came out burping. They were enjoying the feast. Remember ye not the former thing. Neither consider the things of old. Get your mind out of the past. Live for today. 
Yeah, but we're told the Israel's told to remember the feast. Every year they're to celebrate the Passover. The Passover of today. The Passover of now. The Feast of Weeks today. The Feast of Trumpets today. We're not told to live in the past. But then again, we're told to go back to Bethlehem. We're told about our first love. There are things that in our past we don't need to go back to, and there are things in our past we need to go back to. Behold, I will do a new thing. Uh -oh. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? How can you know a new thing? And God's going to tell you. I will even make a way in the wilderness. And rivers in the desert. That's the highway. The beasts of the field shall honor me. The dragons and the owls. Now where have you seen those before? You've seen them off and on throughout Isaiah. Because I give, I give waters in the wilderness. And rivers in the desert. To give drink to my people. My chosen. So there's coming a time in the desert areas that God is going to provide water for these people. The Jews. They're going to need it. They're thirsty. This people have I formed for myself. And they shall show forth my praise. Wait till the millennium. And the earth sings out the Jews praising their Messiah and God Jehovah. But thou hast not called upon me. Uh oh. Present day. O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Well, present day, God's not happy with him. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle for burnt offerings. Present day, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. Present day, listen, I know this was written 712 BC or BC 712, you want, but this is today, 2015. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor weary thee with incense today, presently. Thou hast brought me no sweet cane with money, present day. Neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices, present day. And you find this through Malachi chapter 1 verses 6 through 10. God saying, there is no temple. There is no burnt offer, altar. Excuse me. Go over there in Israel today. Go over to Jerusalem today. And where God is supposed to be is the dumb of the rock. They don't bring sacrifices. They're not offering incense to God. They're not going there three times a year like they're supposed to. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins. Thou hast wearied me with thy iniquity. Present day. Israel is sinning. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgressions. For my own sake, not for them. It be to God's glory he wipes out their sins. Not to the Jews. For my own sake and will not remember thy sins. A national atonement upon a populace of people called Israel. This is not individual. This is a nation, a corporate. Individual Jews today do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior will die and burn in hell for all eternity, just as much as a Gentile. And if Jonah and, and Peter didn't want to go into a Gentile's house, imagine a Jew being in the same home with a Gentile for all eternity. Put me in remembrance. See, that's what you're supposed to remember, not the old days. Put God in remembrance. Don't remember the, the watermelon, the leeks, and whatever you had back in Egypt. 
Remember what God had done. Remember what God is. Remember who you were and what God did to save you, and what God has done for you and to you since you've been saved. Unless you still got a miserable life, which I doubt. If you still got a miserable life, A, you're not saved, or B, you're not doing what the Bible tells you to do. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Declare thou. That would be Isaiah 1, 18. Let us reason together. That thou mayest be justified. God wants you to repent. God wants them to repent. They're going to repent. They're going to get right. And they will be justified. Thy first father has have sinned. I would believe that would be Abraham. And thy teachers have transgressed against me. I believe that would be people present in Isaiah's time and today. The rabbis are not teaching the Bible. They got the Old Testament and they have perverted it and, and converted it into everything but what it really is. If they were really teachers, they would really look into Jesus Christ. They would really look into the New Testament and, and, and analyze it with the Old Testament. And they would see as teachers for the people that Jesus Christ is their Messiah. They do anything but, but make excuses. What's one of the excuses that the Bible records? Well, say that you know the disciples came by night and stole the body. Here, here's the money. Shut up. That's a lie. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to the reproaches. So listen, you're not going to get good when you're doing wrong against God. You're not being blessed. You're not getting right. And that is Israel's condition today. They, were, they are without king. They are without a temple. They're without burnt sacrifices. And they're not getting blessed by God. God is keeping them alive. Well, only because Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God says, as far as the numbers of stars in the, in the air, and as far as the number of sand upon the sea, the Jews will always be. Had not God promised that to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to Moses, and, and, and Joshua, Israel would have been wiped out a long time ago. The sure mercies of David is what's keeping those people alive today and keeping them far as in their land. But one day God is going to remove their sins as a corporate and they will be dedicated and honored to God alone and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, as their Messiah, as a nation set up with David the Prince, Jesus Christ as the King, with the millennial offerings, with the eternal offerings of a temple, of a burnt offering. To please God and make God happy. To John, the Gospel of John, Jesus who is God. And God is Jesus. It's all about Jesus. You know why they are profane? You know why they are cursed? You know why they are for reproaches? Because they have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Messiah. Instead of welcoming him in that city for the whole week long and praising him as the king and praising him as, as the Messiah, as the Son of God, they said, we'll have no king but Caesar. Crucify him. Crucify him. His blood be upon us. And oh boy, that was a mouthful. You know how long that his blood be upon us takes? Somewhere around 33 AD and about that. It should take 250, the year 2015 and subtract how many years so far his blood be upon him. You know how long Rome has been a ruler over there? Over 1900 years. Because they didn't worship him as the Messiah. They rejected him. One day when he comes back, things will be different. 